Happy, happy Sunday, boys and girls. Welcome back for another wonderful lesson and a chance to hear God's word. Do you have your Bibles? <laughs> Let's go ahead and grab them. For the younger children, you can grab the God's Big Plan for Me Story Bible. Mm -hmm. You can turn to page 131. We're doing the lesson, John Baptizes Jesus. So again, for the younger children, go ahead and grab your God's Big Plan for Me Bible. And for the older children, you can grab your children's Bible in 365 stories. Mm -hmm. You may turn to page 287. Again, John baptizes Jesus. And for the boys and girls out there, if you don't have either Bible, the children's Bible 365 or God's big plan for me, it's totally fine. You can grab your own Bible and turn to the New Testament, the book of Mark. That's right. You can still follow along in the book of Mark, chapter 1, verses 1 through 10. Either way, you can still learn about God's word through either the God's big plan for me, Children's Bible 365, or your very own Bible. Are you ready? <laughs> Thumbs up. Before I start reading the story, I want you to think about something as I am reading. God created me to be a part of his family. Hmm, think about that. God created me to be a part of his family. Let's get started on the story. God sent a man named John to prepare the way for Jesus. John lived in the desert and ate bugs and honey. He wore rough clothes made from camel's hair. But he had a very important message for the people. Stop sinning and do good. Someone amazing is coming who is much greater than me. 